Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to film a full face of products that I've either forgotten about or that I've been neglecting hard. So before we get into today's video, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into it. So starting off with primer, I'm going to be using my Milk Hydro Grip. Ever since the e.l.f. Power Grips came out, I've pretty much forgotten about it. I've just been so happy with the e.l.f. versions but I'm excited to try this out and see what the OG is like. Immediately the biggest difference that I see is that this one has a much thinner consistency, which I actually think I prefer the thicker one that e.l.f. has, um, just because it just feels a little bit more rich going onto your skin. And with these kind of primers, I like to wait till they get really sticky. That's when I know they're ready for the next step. And with these kind of primers, they don't actually remain feeling sticky. They'll eventually dry down or as soon as you put on another layer, that tackiness is gone. So now for my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This one gets often forgotten about just because I don't have my perfect shade match. I kind of have to do uh, a mixy mix of a few shades. Today I'm mixing this shade, which I don't know what it is because the sticker fell off and Fiji. <laughs> I might be able to figure it out and I'll have it in the description down below. I'm going to do one good pump of each, so 50-50 amount. Oh, I forgot to put my nose ring in today. Oops, I really like how thin this one feels on the skin. Like it just feels like I'm rubbing my face with a dry brush pretty much. Like it doesn't feel like I'm applying anything to my face. So it's super, super lightweight, but it does offer quite a bit of coverage. The only reason why I don't reach for this that often is because I have to concoct my own shade. But if I had a good shade in one bottle, I feel like I would use it a lot more. But even so, it's not that hard to do a 50-50 mix of these two shades to get this result. It's really, really pretty. I'm gonna have to put this in the forefront of my foundation section. It's gonna be cut out, but it took me a lot of times to say that sentence. <laughs> I'm having one of those days where I can't seem to make a proper sentence. Just like that one, that was a little rough. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using this Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. I think I've only used this once in a past full face of drugstore makeup. It just kind of got lost within my drugstore section for upcoming videos. I faintly remember me really liking this, so I need to give it another shot. That is really nice. It's super, super thin, but it's doing a great job, and I see it starting to mattify. It has some smoothing qualities, but it's not... Blurring. And I'm going to set this with the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. This is definitely not a neglected product. This is a product I use too much, but I wanted to see how this concealer reacts with my favorite under eye powder at the moment. But I'll use the neglected powder everywhere else, okay? Deal? Now for my bronzer, I'm going to be using my Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. This one has been overshadowed by other things. I feel like I've been using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick so much. What else? Like the new Tower 28 Sculptino as well as the Milk Makeup Contour Stick. There's been so many that I've been wearing so much more than this. So let's see how this goes. For this month's tournament video, I think I want to do bronzers. I think that would be really fun and kind of fitting for the upcoming warmer months. Um, I'm planning on doing a tournament a month just because it takes a long time to produce those videos. It takes a lot of time to shoot all of the footage for them and it also takes my editor Haley a long time to edit just because there are so many elements, um, but she does a phenomenal job. Like those are some of my top favorite videos to watch myself. And I really hope other beauty creators start doing that style of video. I think it'd be so interesting. I didn't even have to really pay attention to what I was doing with this bronzer. It is so nice and seamless and it's going into this foundation beautifully. I just keep adding more and more. <laughs> I'm having fun with it. It's sheer enough that it looks really nice and seamless, but it's not sheer enough for it to not do anything. Why have I been being so rude to these products? They deserve more from me. Okay, so now for highlighter. I have one that I have not touched probably over a year. It's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Whisper of Guilt Highlighter from MAC. Let's give this a whirl. I haven't been really into highlighters as of late, unless it's the Rare Beauty highlighter. I've just been so in love with that one. 
This one's really pretty. I feel like it's a really nice in-between highlighter where it could fit kind of a natural everyday look or a super super glam look. And the shade name is fitting. I'm feeling a whisper of guilt for not using this more. <laughs> now for blush, there's two options here. I actually completely forgot about this one here. This is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint in the shade Bombshell, which is a really nice, rich kind of fall tone. Let's see what it looks like spread out. Oh, it's very, very red. And I've also been missing out on the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion blushes in the shade All That Sparkles. I actually have three shades, but this is the one I feel like would be the most fitting for today. I think these just get overshined by the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blushes. I find them to be very similar. The shade is also very similar to a few of those colors. Obviously has a very similar finish where it's like a matte blush, but then it has this really nice soft, soft highlighter that adds a lot of glow. I'm feeling more into this one compared to the NYX one. I feel like that's just going to be too intense for the other things I have selected here. I have to put like a bookmark in my mind about this blush. This is kind of one of those perfect suits everything kind of blush because it's kind of nude, it's kind of pink. It's just neutral enough that it will suit any other colors that will be going on your face a little bit later, you know? Like I feel like it would suit so much. I think this is one of my best bases in a while, hey? Like it's looking really good. And I think that's it aside from powder. I'm now going to be going in with my Charlotte Tilbrush Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 1. I think this is one of the first powders I've had in my collection and I've expanded my powder collection quite a bit. Oh my gosh, it is so airbrushing, for real. The one thing I know about this powder is that this effect does not last that long on my skin. That's why I prefer the LYS Triple Fix powder. It's very similar to this, but the effect lasts longer on my oilier complexion. This one is immediately stunning, like look at that poreless, so smooth. <laughs> but in a few hours, it's going to set in and it's going to look exactly like it did before I put any powder on. So that's my issue with this powder, that's it. This is the biggest powder brush ever. Oh, I thought that was a cat hair, it's not. Wow, when does that ever happen? It's a BK Beauty 102 brush. Is so massive. Now it's time for the brow intermission. I do have some neglected products in that section, but that's just because they don't suit my hair color at the moment. So I'll quickly go do that, so please enjoy the brow intermission. For my eyes, I grabbed quite a few things. So first of all, this palette from Glisten. These are all water activated eyeliners. I bought this around a year ago now, and I thought I was going to use it a lot more than I do, but maybe I will more so in the summer because these are all very bright and fun shades. So I'm going to dip into this today. I also grabbed this little treasure. This is the Emotion Proof Eye Color from Tom Ford in the shade 10 Abyssinian. And lastly, I grabbed this right here. This is the MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid Shadow in the shade Diamond Crumbles. It's very Euphoria vibes. It has that teal and the pink and the violet and like these champagne sparkles in there too. So I'm going to create something fun with those three things. I'm going to first use this as a base. So I'm taking this Refer 27 brush and I'm going to bring this into my crease and I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm just going to get this nicely diffused in the crease first. This is a BK Beauty 206 brush now and I'm taking a more concentrated amount of that and I'm going to pack that onto my lid. I just think at one point it was a little too creamy for my eyelid so I found it creasing often. And I don't know if those were the days I was using the Fenty Beauty eye primer or not. I'm taking this Refer 03 brush now it's a tiny tiny detail brush and I'm going to take this on my lower lash line too now that is a 2020 eyeball let me tell you <laughs> so now let's dazzle it up with this Ooh, that looks cool also going to place some 
of that in my inner corner. So now that that's happened, I'm going to take some of these. I think I'm going to mix these two shades to get kind of like a periwinkle blue. And I found this picture on Pinterest of this unique placement. I really like that with the three dots and this kind of unique liner but it's not connected to the normal liner spot. So all you have to do with these is add a little bit of water and then you mix, 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 mix until you get a thicker consistency and the right opacity. So let's see this color. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. I don't know what the colors I've mixed. I'll figure it out and they'll be in the description as well. And I'm going to be using one of their brushes. This is a Glisten number no. three. completely forgot I had this little dotting tool for nail art. I'm going to mix up a little bit of a pink shade and I know this one is the shade strawberry. Ooh, I wonder if I added a pink center to those. Let's do it. Okay, so these are the eyes. I think they're freaking sick. <laughs> okay, I love these. Oh, I forgot how fun it is to play around and kind of sketch on your eyes with these products. I don't really have any mascaras that I've forgotten about. The one I haven't used in the longest would be the About Face mascara. Cute. I kind of like this look with just a plain lip, but we've got to we've got to go on. And I have actually quite the bold lip here. This is one of the products I immediately thought about while I was picking out products for this video, which is kind of ironic, but I was looking through my collection the other day and I was like, what's this? It's the Freck Makeout Club Soft Blur Lipstick. This is the shade. I think it's actually going to suit it very, very, very nicely. And I'm going to go for this lip liner. This is from Melt Cosmetics and it's the shade Cinnamon. I can hear Lanny snoring. That is so cute. This lip liner is actually looking so good with this look. I just love this kind of blue with these more rusty tones. It looks so complimentary. I like that. But let's go in with some of this. I mean, this look is a winner. <laughs> Holy smokes. I think I'm unlocking a new favorite color to play with. This really nice periwinkle-y blue. I think this went way better than I thought. All of these products performed really beautifully and I can't believe I've done them dirty for this long. Expect to see a lot of these more often. I've been missing out. <laughs> But I think that's going to be it. Let me know if you'd like to see another one of these types of videos because this was a little too fun on my end anyways. I hope it was fun to watch. And if it was, give this video a thumbs up. It would help me out so very much over here. I'll also make sure to link all of these products in the description down below. So feel free to check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Ren saying bye too. <laughs>